Hi, I'm Carla Holt, and I'm going to show you some tips on using Siri or voice activation on an iOS device. Siri is a useful tool to use to support students in many ways, including offering support for speech to text. It's important to note that Siri is only available on iPhone 4S, iPhone 5, iPad 3, and iPad mini. iPad 1 and 2 do not have any sort of voice control. The older iPhones, iPhone 3G, they do have voice control, but only to play song lists or make calls. So before we start, let's look at turning Siri on. So I'm going to go into Settings. I'm going to go into General on the sidebar, and I'm going to click on Siri. So Siri needs to be turned on in order for you to use voice activation. So now that Siri is on, in order to activate Siri, I will press and hold the home button. I can use this to open up apps. So for example, if I want to open up the camera app, I can press and hold the home button. Camera app. And Siri will open up the camera app for me. The other very powerful feature of Siri is that Siri enables text-to-speech. So I can be using any app that requires typing, such as my mail, my notes, pages, anything that you would end up typing in. And if I just open up Pages, if I tap on the page to begin typing, my keyboard comes up. I see an additional little icon, the microphone, Siri will allow me to talk and will convert my spoken word into typed text. So in order to use that, I'll press the microphone button, I'll begin talking, and then I'll tap it again to end talking. It's important to note as well, you can also use words like period, comma, in your dictation so that Siri will include those in your writing. So let's give it a try. I'm going to tap the microphone button. Alberta has many natural resources, period. And you can see that Siri has converted my speech into text. This is very powerful to support students who are struggling or maybe even non-writers. So this has been a little tutorial on using Siri or voice activation on an iOS device.